what for change? Then you jump into this vehicle and drive off. That yeah. doesn't add up. Uh, Is that your vehicle, sir? Well, what do you what do you think? I'm driving it. Oh that yeah. Doesn't mean it's yours. Burning up. Before you get going, I'm going to be really careful. I'm not even going to look at my phone. Like, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to look at it, and I'll pull away in a minute. Perfect. Uh, do you know, um, I'm looking at it. Yeah, she got it. Got it. He's down. Copy that. You want to move up with Claire? Yum, yum. Mm, 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 mm. No. Drawing charades with the kid. What is this? What? Wait, is that is that the number a thousand and one? Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. ones and two oh. Oh my God, you're so intelligent. What the mummy draw. What the mummy a, draw? A, a big line behind and two little lines at the side and. What Six shape is it? Four. What like shape is it? A chocolate bar. It How do like you know it was a chocolate bar? Because a four and six and two lines and three lines. I did uh, not think you were gonna figure uh, it uh, out. Uh, uh, that, that. Look at you did it. Chocolate bar. Yeah. Mini recipe. Cubed up potato breakfast salad. Dominican, but. I improvise. I add garlic, boil them with some eggs, and in here is some olive oil, pepper, some salt, and what else did I put in it? Vinegar and garlic powder. Like I said, not the most traditional. Hmm? So you cut them not too small and boil them with some garlic and some salt and the other for tender. Train them and add them in. Now, you mix them really well. Now, typically, I would have added more potatoes, but I'm trying to be healthy, so meet up with it with these two boiled eggs. You know, healthy right after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I ate too much then. Okay, and the final touch are some self-boiled eggs. Oh, I love these things. So remember, really simple base. Equal parts, mostly olive oil, and a few drops of vinegar, but I always add extra because I like my salad a little bit more vinegary. Some salt, garlic powder, and pepper. And I always... Add a little bit of extra herbs. Really simple.